selecting in Photoshop number 7, the Refine Edge function. If the subject to be selected has a good edge, one of the methods described in the previous videos will usually do the business. Delicate subjects like hair and fur can be much harder. The Refine Edge function works on a mask and can give a good result with this type of subject. We'll start off by duplicating the main layer with Ctrl J or Command J. Just doing a magic wand selection of the background won't give us a good piece of definition over this fur. We want to start off by selecting the subject quite roughly. For that here we can use the Quick Selection tool. If I brush over the animal, there we are. That's given us a rough selection over the body of the cat although it hasn't yet included all the fluffy bits. The outside part of the selection is called the transition area where the background can be seen through the fur and it's where the mask will do all its magic. At the bottom of the layers panel we click on the add layer mask button. We'll enlarge a bit to get a closer look at some of the edges. I'm going to turn off the background image. Now we double click on the mask to open up the properties panel. One of the options here is Mask Edge. That's what we want to work on. In View Mode we have several options. We can look at Overlay, or we can have a black background, or a white background. But for now here we'll stick to Transparent Background, working on layers. Now we want to adjust this mask to give us a better selection of the fur. Under Edge Detection we start off by checking the Smart Radius box. This works automatically and very often can do quite a good job. We have a brush which we can increase in size in the normal way with the square brackets or reduce it. And we brush over the edge. We're really brushing over the delicate bits of the fur and these become included in our selection. I'm going to turn on the white background. Maybe that gives us a better view. There we are. We can see better where we're going now. We can brush over a bit more to make sure we get as much detail as possible. We increase the brush size to make sure we get all the ends in. We can go over it again just to make sure over this part. Smart Radius can adjust itself for very hard edges or very soft edges. So it's picked up all those soft bits coming out of the ear. If we go over too much of the body it damages definition. So we can correct that by holding the Alt key going over it again to restore a better selection carry on round. This part is quite firm around the edge but we've got all these whiskers. Now some of these whiskers are just too delicate for the system to select. It's not selecting everything we want. So in a situation like this all we can do is later draw in some of those whiskers with a very fine delicate brush. We carry on going round, make the brush a bit smaller. We need to concentrate on the edge itself where all the delicate fur is rather than going over the solid part of the animal. There. Not bad, eh? Now, the radius can be changed if you want a more manual approach. We can see what the radius is by clicking on this Show Radius button. And that shows us the extent of the selection. A wider radius increases the width of the selection. But we don't really need that in this case. You might need that when there are an awful lot of very light, fluffy parts, like with bird feathers. In this case we're fine with a small radius, because that includes all the delicate bits of fur. And the whiskers will probably come out better than they appear here. Turn off that. Now we have an extra brush here. Refine Radius Tool. If there are some delicate parts that haven't been selected first time round, Sometimes this can help. I don't think it's going to make much difference in this case. We've probably got it as good as we can get. But I'll just try these whiskers with that Refine Edge Selector. See these whiskers are quite long and delicate. But they're just not being retained by the selection. But anyway it's done quite a good job. Trying to do that manually will be virtually impossible. Now we've got some other options here. Smooth. Well that will really smooth around any jagged bits but in this case it's going to lose us detail. Feather is the same as we have feather in any other selection. We don't need that. Contrast, sometimes that helps. Not here. It just starts losing us detail. And the shift edge. This is similar to this select 
modify function where you can expand or contract. So increasing it, the selection goes out more. Reducing it tightens up the selection. Now it looks as though that's zero. If we shift the edge out a bit, it is selecting a bit more fine fur. So we'll do that, find a good balance. Mustn't take it too far, otherwise you get contamination as you see here. There. Down here we have decontaminate colors. As you can see, the edge is a bit tinged with orange, which comes from the background, from the original background. So we can get rid of that. That's cleaned up that orange. Output, several options, a new layer, new document. A good one is new layer with layer mask. So that gives us this selection on a new layer and it retains our original. So I'm going to click OK for that. Here we have our new layer with its fine selection. I'm going to create a new background, a white background, just for demonstration purposes. And there's our cat. There is another way of doing a rough selection, which is sometimes easier than using the quick selection tool. That's with the lasso tool. We can go round the subject very roughly. We want to keep the selection over the loose bits of hair in this situation, rather than going over the thicker parts of the subject. So it's a very loose selection around here. There are a few hard lines, but we go along here and that's it. And from there we can carry on in the same way. We'll work our way through one more example. We'll have a go with this bird now. It's got some soft feathers and it's got some hard edges. To some extent we can select the bird with the quick selection tool. But we'll start off by duplicating the background with Ctrl J, Command J. Quick selection tool, brush over. And around here, hold down the shift key, include a bit more and the leg and the rock. Hold down the Alt key to remove this. That'll do for now. I'm going to use the lasso tool just to tidy that up a bit. The Alt key to remove something. We haven't got the tail included here. This is a bit more tricky for the system because it's very dark against the dark background. We might have to add in the tail detail later. That'll do for now. Now we're going to add a mask. Double click on the mask. Click on Mask Edge to open up the Refine Mask panel. Now we'll try with the Smart Radius as before. Slightly smaller brush. Photoshop is looking for edges and points of contrast. Radius tells Photoshop how far away from the original selection it should look. We've got a bit of the background there, so hold down the Alt key to make sure we've got everything. Got rid of that background that was showing through. Now these feathers are a bit more awkward. We've got a bit of background showing through, but we can tidy those sections up later. Hair needs a high radius, harder edges need a lower radius. If you include too much, hold the Alt key and the tool changes to the Erase Refinement tool. We're getting some background coming through, but there are also some delicate white bits there. No, we're going to do that bit by hand later. As I said earlier, it's dark against dark, so Photoshop is having a problem selecting a complete edge. Now the tail and the dark feathers aren't selected very well, so we'll select those from the original. If we turn on the original, it's a little hard to see. I'll add an adjustment curves layer so we can see the outline of those dark feathers better. And I'm going to select them with the pen tool. The curves are quite straight and neat, so the pen tool will be fine here. Turn that into a selection with Control Return or Command Return. And I'll finish off with the lasso to add the last bits in. Hold down the Shift and include it into our selection. I'll give that a slight feather, two I think. OK. Put it on a new layer with Ctrl J, Command J and move it above our main layer. Now we can see those feathers look much better. So we'll merge this new selection with our main image. And a message asks us if we want to apply the mask. Yes we do. 
we can get rid of this adjustment curves layer we don't need that anymore now I want to add a new sky background to the image so I'll paste that in move it underneath the bird we'll have a closer look at some of these selections and see how they are it looks as though there's a bit of background there in fact it's some of the very delicate bits of feather that are being selected so that's all right we have a little bit of fringe in here which is quite normal when we cut something out from the background we can get rid of that with layer matting defringe let's try one no maybe not enough let's try two yes that's better so there is our completed stalk selected and placed against a new background next we'll be doing selection by color and color range